Hey guys, this is week 3's video on MongoDB and Mongoose, and in this video we're going to go over um, setting up Atlas, and then also um, some queries that you can do. Now, I'm not going to go over most of the setup for this, and then I'm also not going to be doing the queries that are needed for your bootcamp, just for the sake of not doing the entire bootcamp for you, so hopefully you can use, the queries are all similar, so you can use it as inspiration and base your the ones you do in the bootcamp off of them so the first thing that we're gonna do is navigate to you know cloud.mongob.com the atlas website and we're gonna go ahead and create a new project and let's just call it week three just hit create and once it's created we can make our cluster for our database and we'll just pick free one choose all the default settings hit create and we'll wait till this is done all right so now that our cluster is created we're just going to want to set up the connection string that we're going to use to connect to it so I'm going to hit connect and first the first thing you're going to want to do is whitelist your IP address but for ease of use and to not reveal my IP I'm just going to add um, this as an IP address which allows all IPs so I'm going to add that in and then it's going to ask you to create a user. I've already done this just so um, I don't have my password shown on screen, but it'll ask you for a username and password associated with your user. And that's what's going to go in your connection string to allow it to connect to your database. And after that, you're going to want to choose a connection method and you're going to want to choose um, the second one, which is connect your application with the uh, native drivers and make sure you have Node.js selected and then 3.0 or later. And this is the connection string that you're going to use in your config.js file. So I have that set up here. And what you're want to, going to want to do is replace this um, section with the carrots with your password. So if your password was like 123, you type in 123 here. So I'm going to go and set that up. So now that I have my database connected, um, I've populated it already with some user documents. As you can see here, I have two users, and we're just for these queries, we're just going to be using the object IDs, which are automatically created by MongoDB, and they're unique to every document in a collection. So this isn't something you have to make yourself. And you can also see here that these um, this user collection is located in the test database, and that's because in my connection string, I specified that I wanted it to connect to the test database. So that's where these um, this collection was created. And if you go here, which is linked in the slides, oh, whoops, you can see the different queries that Mongo supports to MongoDB. And for the sake of something similar to what you're going to be doing in your bootcamp, but not exactly, I'm going to be doing the find by ID query, which uses this object ID and then returns the document. So let's go ahead and do that for this first user here inside our controller function we're going to do user dot find by ID and remember that um, this user is just a mongoose schema and we're gonna pass in the ID that we want to find and then the callback with the found document and we're gonna say if the user wasn't found then we'll just throw or just tell us user not found otherwise we can just say user found and then add in the name and then the email and then we also want to add a dot catch here in case there are any errors So put error plus error. We save that, and then if we make this query, we should expect it to return the user associated with this object ID. We should be expected to return user found, the name, and then the email. So let's run this. Send, and it'll say user found, the name, and then the email. So let's try to give it an object ID that doesn't exist, like. 
And if we run this, it'll give us the error here, cast error, cast object ID field for value two at path ID for model user. So it's saying that two is not a valid object ID, so it can't use it to find it. Um, now let's go to the second user. Copy this object ID here. And we're going to paste it in here. And we should expect it to return that second user. So let's make this request. And you can see that um, it returned that second user that I had listed. So let's do an instance where it doesn't find the user, but it is a valid object ID. So we're just going to replace this number with three. And we should expect the message user not found, because although this is a valid object ID, there is no user document associated with it. So let's send it here. And as you can see, it says here, message user not found. And if you're a little bit lost in any of this, I recommend that you watch the second the video I had for week two, because right now I'm just working inside um, that repo that I have, that Postman repo. So I have all my routes set up. The only thing I didn't have set up, which you guys should be doing in your boot camp, is the database connection. Um, and then, yeah, so this is an example of a query that you guys can do. Hopefully it's useful to you.